right, well, weeks after a toddler died from fentanyl poisoning at a Bronx daycare, a new danger now involving yet another child care facility. Yeah, an East Harlem teen now behind bars for allegedly making ghost guns in the same apartment where young children were being cared for. PIX 11's Kirsten Cole joins us live in East Harlem with the details. Kirsten, good morning. Yeah, good morning to you, Vanessa and Craig. And there are 7,000 of these home daycares across the five boroughs in New York City. These two instances, the fentanyl poisoning, the ghost guns, really highlight the fact that we never know what's going on inside those daycares outside of the one annual inspection that they are generally subjected to. Just last night, we know that 18-year-old Karen Coley was picked up and arrested on felony gun charges. That's for including an assault-style weapon, loaded guns, this according to police, all made inside the teen's bedroom. That was inside a Harlem daycare with a 3D printer. The mayor vowing change must happen to protect our most most vulnerable in the city. Who would have thought that we must add uh, to our list of inspections of do we have 3D printers that can print guns? This is a heartbreaking uh, scenario. PIX 11's Nicole Johnson riding along on that apparition that led to the tip that brought the bust. She got an up-close look as the NYPD fights to find ghost gun makers on Tuesday. It was a baby-faced group that was arrested. Cops saying they believe it starts with stolen credit cards to buy the parts and then using 3D printers to make the guns. The bust operation in West Harlem ended with the arrest of a 16 and 17-year-old inside different homes. The mayor saying cops should now be riding along with daycare inspections. The mother of 18-year-old suspect Karen Coley speaking to PIX11 by phone. All I know is the, the gist of it about guns, but there was no one present besides my son. The daycare area is not located where these items were found. But all of this, of course, inside a small Manhattan apartment. There are no charges so far for Coley's mother, but law enforcement says that this investigation is continuing. Live in East Harlem, I'm Kirsten Cole, PIX 11 News. Back to you, Craig and Vanessa.